I cordially invite our chief guest for today's program, Professor N. S. Ramaswamy, Pashma Bhushan and founder director of the Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore, to give the convocation address. <laughs> Pranam Namaste Jandu Nam Nara Janmam Gurlava To get a human birth is a rare privilege. Thousand more birth and death you go through to get a human birth. So remember that we are born in a Punya Bhumi, Deva Bhumi, Pabo Bhumi, Karma Bhumi. So your first loyalty, gratitude, contribution, dedication should be to this Karma Bhumi, Tavo Bhumi. Thirdly, you have taken management as a profession which is another good fortune. Every other profession, engineering, architecture, law, medicine, what have you. They are all single disciplines, maybe multidisciplinary. Management in the right approach of which what I am going to talk to you today is all pervasive, all comprehensive, holistic, systemic, secular, spiritual. In fact, the Lord of the Universe is the greatest manager in the world. And therefore today my theme will be how to make management much more than what it is by adding new dimension to management. A traditional management is drawing disciplines, concepts, principles, ideas, ideologies, values from politics, economics, psychology, sociology, anthropology, logic, law, techniques of productivity, mathematics, statistics and the like. They all belong to what we call the outer knowledge, abhara vidya, materialistic concepts, outer world by the senses, the five senses and the mind. What I would like to add today, additional dimensions to management by drawing upon India's ancient thought and wisdom, subjects such as ethics, morals, values, philosophy, spirituality, yoga, meditation, fasting, silence, law of order, law of causation, law of karma, law of rebirth, rebirth, mysticism, prayer, dedication, selflessness, sacrifice, vairikya, vairagya, non kartrutta bhava, I am doing, no, non kartrutta bhava, as an agent of society, as an agent of animals, as an agent of nature. That's the theme of which I am going to speak. Ethics meaning honesty, integrity, humility, austerity, simplicity, culture, concern for others, compassion, kindness, cheerfulness, friendliness, give more, take less, live for others rather than for yourself, expand your horizon, have multi-dimensional thinking, these are the areas in which I would like you to expand. Fourthly, they are not only born in India with a professional management concept, but you are also born at this time in history. That's very significant. I am on the way out. I was the first professor of management in this country, long before Ahmedabad started. 
I am also the oldest living. But I am passing on. A new generation is coming. What is the significance of the generation? The significance of the generation is that this is India's century. Swami Vivekananda declared in 1895 in Michigan to a group of journalists told them, this century is yours, but next century is India's century. When the whole world of scholars, philosophers, professionals will come to India to seek solutions to the problems afflicting mankind, animals, nature's endowments. He also added those marauders, those barbarians who humbled, humiliated, plundered, privileged our country will come in this century to India to pay homage to our ancient sages and saints who have given to us a civilization which has withstood the onslaught of time, 10,000 years of civilization, long before Europe or any other country in the world had thought of civilization. Our ancient sages have discovered the mysteries of the universe, age of the earth, speed of life, root of minus one, gravity, sporosity of the earth, cosmology, cosmogony, everything in the world. So I want you to know that it is your duty, second duty, is to usher in, support, nourish, protect our Indian culture and so fulfill the dream of Swami Vivekananda to have India's century, a, not a dream, but is a reality. And the only discipline which can bring that about is a management discipline, management function, management concept, management philosophy, principles, ideals, ideologies, values. Therefore, remember, all of you who feel an inquiry, a titikshara, a, just an inquiry, at least out of curiosity, I would like you to read one book in this week if you can, if you have respect for me, for the old traditions of India, one single book to read, Vivekananda's book on selection from the works of Vivekananda, where he has written on secret of work. What is work? Is it labor or is it a puja? Is it a samarpana? It's a duty or a karma. So if you read that, you will get inspired to become a manager, good manager. Competence is required. Proficiency, capability required. Along with knowledge, skills, competence, hard work, sincerity, involvement, I agree. Along with that, there will be dedication, commitment, a certain amount of concern for every living in the world and therefore Vivekananda has described what a good manager ought to be. In addition, there is no time today to talk, you should at least read Vidura Niti, Vidura, Bhishma, Bhaktruhari, and take books like Bhagavad Gita which is being taught in 140 American universities. You should know that a good interpretation of Bhagavad Gita. Today Ashok Narayan gifted to me what he has written about Bhagavad Gita. Don't read the original, read the interpretation. The other book which you should read is David Frawley. Dr. David Frawley has written 38 books on India. 38 books on India. It's called Vama Deva Shastri. Along with his wife Shambhavi Devi, who had a darshan or Devi, the Kali Devi, she had darshan. So I would like you to start a pilgrimage today. I have come here as a pilgrim, particularly to this place, where the only person in India who has integrated, amalgamated, combined spirituality with life is Gandhiji. In every aspect of life, Gandhiji integrated spirituality into life. He also said politics without morality, business without ethics, 
and so on. So I would like you, having been born and having an environment in Gandhiji's state, I would like you to read some of his interpretations of Gita and other writings. With this I say, the India century, to fulfill the dream, management can do. One side comment I want to make. In India, there are 450 million workers. Out of 1100 million people in our country, one third are workers, so called 450 million. In that 450 million workers in this country, the 2000 management institutes in our country are taking care of only less than 2% of the workforce. Repeat, out of 450 million workers, management is now concerned only with the activity of 2%. What is 2%? The organized sector in India is only 30 million. Out of 450 million, the organized sector is only 30 million. Management is concerned today, is applied, principles are applied, managers are working only in the organized sector of 30 million. 420 million have no benefit. The 70% of our farmers, the rural people, our animals, our nature, they don't get anything from management. Even in the 30 million workers in the organized sector, 22 million are in government. These 22 million also do not get any benefit from management. Now one of you will join government. Most of you will not join government. Some of you may go to public sector. So even adding that, maximum of 10 million workers only you are going to take care of. So what can you do? You are going to get jobs in Hindustan Lever, MNCs, IT companies. They are all our well-managed companies. Right? Who will improve the municipality? Who will improve the railway? Who will improve the ports? Who will improve the rural, rural areas? So, you can't do that. But at least understand that. Even if you can't do, therefore one idea which I want to give you, those who have already in a profession, whatever be a profession, there should be a superordinate goal. More than what you are doing. Besides your work, wherever you are, whichever company you are, by expanding your horizon, as Swami Vivekananda said, to grow is to live. To grow is to live. Expansion is essential in economic, social, political, cultural, spiritual, philosophical ways you should expand. And you get involved in multi-dimensioned activities. You must have listened to my background. I have done meat industry. I am also a chairman of the World Vegetarian Congress. I am the expert on meat. I am a Brahmin. But I am the only expert on meat in India. One end, bullock cart improvement, other computer. I am the first man to write, introduce computers in India. And therefore, you may not succeed in life. You may not be recognized in life. But what is, what is one out of life? Dukkha Nevati, Sukha Prati, Manashanti. That's what you need. Dukkha Nevati, Sukha Prati, Manashanti. And therefore, if you want dukkha, besides physical pain, mental suffering, anguish, tension, anxiety, stress, fear, guilt complex, all the time worry, hurry, hurry, if you want to get over that, is the management is the principle. So second dimension which I given to management is one, take management to all sectors of the economy which you cannot. You can spend at least one day or half a day per month to apply. Wherever you are, find out how can we improve the municipality, water supply, or talk to a prostitute, talk to a woman who is a widow, talk to a person who is a destitute, that will purify the mind. That will give more happiness. Those who give become more. By giving more, you become more. These are the dimensions in which we should go, management should go. So I give only one dimension is ethical moral value. Second dimension to go 
towards a certain amount of spirituality and dana dharma and another dimension where we have to go is to consider management not to take care of planning, organizing, motivating, directing, controlling a group of people to get a given target achieved. That's not enough. That's not management. Breathing is management of breathing, management of your mind, management of your sleeping, eating. What is management of eating? Eat sweet food at regular intervals. You talk, eat slowly. Have a prayer. Nityananda gari, varavaya gari, saunade, ratna gari. In Indian concept, anna purnation. Even anna is what you call an ishri, a goddess. And therefore, remember, pranaya swaha, let my food be digested, be converted into good energy, remove all unnecessary things, and therefore everything is managed. Eat only half of what you need. Repeat, eat only half of what you need. One half which you need, eat is for yourself. The other half is to keep the doctors alive. They are all busy because all of us are overeating. And management in America has spent so much of money to make people eat more, seducing them, making them avaricious, double hamburger, triple hamburger. So what does happen? They spend more money in reducing weight than eating. In America today, more money is being spent to reduce weight than to eat food. And whatever they are wasting on that table, it can feed the whole of India and China. The Oklahoma University has fed a note on that. The wastage in America is equal to the food eaten by the whole of India and whole of China. One cow takes 15,000 gallons of water. 10 gallons of 10 kilograms of food are given to an animal to get one kilogram of meat. Right? An average American, European, they eat two tons per head. Indians eat only 200 kg. Why? They are giving the food to cow first and eating the cow. Is it not much easier to eat directly? Eat feeding the animal and then eating the animal. It's a serious idea I can think of. And what are, why is it being done? Managers are compelling them to eat more, more, more. So that all are busy, doctors are busy. They are also becoming unethical. If you go for a knee pain, they will go and do an MRI on the head. Why? Money invested has to be recovered. And therefore I would like you, India is going to give a new dimension to management world. The whole world will come to India and I request Shastraji and all those who are concerned here including Dr. Singh to prepare program for Westerners also in addition. Because when people go, meditation has gone to America, yoga has gone to America and when it goes to America and comes back, we will accept it better. In fact, meditation is so much rage in America and Deepa Chopra has minted money by giving people meditation. So one man was meditating when his wife came back from her home and asked him, what the heck are you doing? That's the way they talk. So he said, I am meditating. What does that mean by meditating? Uttering it two syllables. What is the meaning of those two syllables? No meaning. Who taught you? Mahesh Yogi. Did you pay for it? Yes. How much? Six hundred dollars. So she said, you pay six hundred dollars, learn, utter a non-nonsense word, I will leave you, she said. So he started meditating in the evening also. After a week, she left. He closed the door and told them, Mahesh Yogi, your meditation worked, what I could not do. <laughs> in the same sense, since Sanskrit Swamiji is a mayor Shastriji is a Sanskrit scholar, the whole world is looking up to Sanskrit. Sanskrit, India is a cradle of civilization, mother of the human race, grandmother of all European languages through Sanskrit, 
great grandmother of philosophy and science and so on and so on. And therefore read what Arnold Toynbee, a small book is available, Will Duran, Toro, Emerson, why should we read all this? In order that we may get conviction, courage, confidence, capability and sukha prapti, manas shanti and then you can go about like a pilgrim, a messenger. We are all mercenaries at one end, we should become missionaries at the other. What is a mercenary? 100 for me, 0 for you is a mercenary. 75 for me, 25 for you is a career. 50-50 is a profession. 75 for you, 25 for me is a service. 100 for you, 0 for me is a mission in life. And the way to become a leader, who is a manager? Manager gets authority from being a GM or AGM or a chairman or a director. You should get authority by your own work. That's called informal authority. Only formal authority. The formal authority, informal authority like Gandhiji got. The whole of India listened to Mahatma Gandhi. Suppose he had gone to in school of Institute of Management, Bangalore. What he would have learned? Management of fasting, management of marketing. Correct? Thank God he did not attend a management school in India. And therefore, there should be discontinuity in thinking, unconventional thinking, lateral thinking into management. Who are going to be the beneficiary? You will be the beneficiary. Your performance will be better. If you are a good man, if you are a man concerned with others, if you got culture, if you got truth and ahimsa, if you are more knowledgeable, and if you are concerned with the people of India, then people will respect you. But if you simply say, and this GM, EGM, respect won't come. So if you want the loyalty of people, if you want a public acceptance, public esteem, self-esteem, etc., all activities. So you should do some yoga. Even management is, take regular intervals. You should eat, sleep, work, etc. Follow the prakriti. Nature is our mother. So we should always be regular in our habits. Should not day and also you should start when the sun comes in the morning. You should, the kirana, the dawn is the best time when you can imbibe. Vahanubhaskaramar tanda chandarasme divagaraha. What are we asking the sun? Ayura arogyam aishwaryam. Ayas arogyam aishwaryam shriyam shayam shadehime imi sritva mangalatva. Got the idea? They are asking. Even Deva was lighted. The light should come into your mind. Shupam karodi kalyanam arogyam tana sambadaha. We are not against food. Money. Don't think Ramaswami is asking us not to have money. In Indian concept, money is Mahalakshmi. Namasthetu Mahamaye. Shri Bhide Suramujide. Education is Saraswati. Shakti. Ya Devi Sarvabhodeshu Shakti Rubayana Samsira Sarvamangala Mangali Shiva Shakti Ayutto Yedi Bhavadi I can tell you hundreds of stories. I mean, I'm teaching some of our Indian thought and wisdom which are managerial in nature. That's why I want you to take only the secular aspects. Not necessarily the religious aspect. It's big, philosophical, rational, logical, scientific, experienceable, experienceable, not experimentable. Experimentable is outside. Experienceable is mind within. Chitta Shuddhi is more important than manipulating the mind. The definition of management in the Oxford Dictionary is manipulating the mind. Manipulating the audience, manipulating the customer, manipulating the purchase man, manipulating the competitor. That's not what you want. You want Chitta Shuddhi. Man means mind. Manu, Manas, Manushya, Man. So management of the mind is the most important thing. Man is the who controls the mind, the manager. That's why Devendra is the manager. What is meant by Devendra? He has Indriya. He has conquered the Indriya. Ashwamedha Yaga means that. Ashwa means that Indriyas. How intellect should control 
the vagaries of the mind, the chanchalatva, the perversion, the distortion, the aberration, the vulgarity, asadhya, anyaya, aniri, abhasa, violence, horror, scare, etc., etc. So we should not do that. Look at the way management has done one illustration. I shall give you how the management component of the producer, management component of the director, management component of the actor. How is this happened today? The whole movie world, the TV series are flooding us, our mind, making our mind impure. What horror, molestation, violence, crime, everything wrong is being shown and all that will affect our mind. So, keeping the mind, protecting the mind, develop immunity in the mind, the substituting in the mind things which are supreme, pure, etc., etc., that's the way you can become better manager. You continue to have inventory control, production control, information system, linear programming, operation system, the whole lot of it I know. All that is required. But along with that, we should develop the Atman, you should develop the Chitta Shuddhi, develop the Buddhi, and also develop empowerment, empowerment by the sun and the moon, empowerment by Prakriti. In our approach, the whole world is plundered today, global warming, one third of forests are gone, one third of all water bodies are gone, next world war is going to be over water. Why so? Why this water is like that? Why? We are wasting water. We are pillaged, plundering Mother Earth. Indian constructed Mother is Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Toya Adhrida Loga Devi Pram Vishnu Nadhrida We say Padas Parsham Shamaswami Mother I am walking on you Mother. I am a Kharchi Mother. That's our Indian approach to Mother Earth. The Indian approach to water is what is Indian approach to water? What is called Srinagaja Yamanejeva Godavani Saraswati. Similarly, our approach to everything in tree, Namastolasi Galyani, Namo Deva Priyeshubhe, after all this whole body is Anna. Body is a Chetra, temple, the Chetra Jnana is sitting there. So such attitudes, such concepts, such principles, assimilation, internalization, if you do, you can be a manager of anything that you want to. Athar dharma should be the guiding factor. Gandhiji said, what I do, will it help the largest number of people leading it? Do that. Repeat. Whatever you do should help the largest number of people leading it is what is called a guidance for all of you. So whenever you do anything, decision making or action program, a new project, whatever you do, will this promote the welfare of society? Are you all prepared to follow me? Repeat with me now. Loko samasta. Repeat. Suhino bhavandu sarvesham sosti bhavadu sarvesham mangalam bhavadu sarvesham Purnam Bhavadu. Repeat of this kind all the time. There is a great sloga, Badrangarne Vishuniyama Devaha. All the time. Oops. Hear good things, speak good things, think good things. Only if you find benefit by it. How do I test that? Am I happier every day? By giving, you will become more. Leave Tao. Tao also has taken assimilation from Tibetan Buddhism, I am told, I don't know. Therefore, this kind of approach to management, by taking the management of the body, management of the mind, management of relationships, and don't imitate, unnecessarily. In America, they call their wives, how do they call? Hello darling, hello sweetie, everything is sweetie. I love hamburger. I love pizza, not the wife, they love the pizza. They don't misuse the word. They go and ring the bell, hello darling, I am home. Who is coming? The dog is coming. The dog is also called honey, sweetie, darling. So let's not misuse this word. In the South Indian Brahmin tradition, we will not call our wife by name. 
The wife will not call her husband by name. My wife in 60 years we have been together has never called me by my name. And not darling also. <laughs> she used to say, look here, dekho na. So in one party, when she was calling me dekho na, one professor came and shook hands with me, American professor. Hello, professor dekho na. <laughs> he thought my name was dekho na. And the bullet from misuse words. They're all managerial methods, kapata. You should always be, silence is more eloquent. The whole one million pages of spiritual literature of India in poem form have been written in silence. When the mind is silent, the whole knowledge comes to you. One fifth only you can learn from the teachers. One fifth you should learn from others. Another one fifth you should learn from what you call by experience. Like that there is a slogan, how the whole world is experienced. And therefore you can only expect from this college only one-fifth to one-fourth. The other three-fourths you have to learn from others by your own experience and from books and so on and so on. So I would like you to know that we have only started your journey. As a management man, we have started. And every day you should be learning, adding value every moment of your life by looking at others. Best way to learn is look at others to learn. If you like me, what I do, you learn from me. If you don't like what I do, remember, whenever you feel like doing something wrong, look at, remember my face, then you won't do that. Example, one of our leaders in Bihar always is digging the nose and digging the ears. Let him mine for gold, let him get it. So thank him, whenever he mining the gold, thank him. How you should not do that. Got the idea? This should become a sohava. Become from an instinct. Should become a nature. Example, that's why when lady sitting here, no lady will scratch. You follow? In public, Indians are constantly, males are constantly scratching. In fact, Kushal Singh wrote an article, Pakistanis and Indians belong to the same culture. Somebody asked how? They are also scratching in the same place. <laughs> right? There was a WHO expert who went and talked to everybody saying Kushta Roga, that means leprosy is not transmittable. Nothing to worry, it's not genetic. And therefore, how do you know that you got Kushta Roga or not, leprosy or not? He said, whenever there is a feeling like scratching, you scratch. If you don't feel it, then that means there is something wrong with your skin. The beginning of leprosy. Next morning he told his wife, I think I have leprosy. I was going on scratching and I was not feeling that I was scratching. She said, you are not scratching you, you are scratching me. <laughs> In the same way, I am trying to tell you that a new transformation, a mental renaissance, or re-engineering or renovation has to come to India and that can be done by the management not a lawyer alone, not an engineer alone not a doctor alone it can be done the combination engineer manager, doctor manager, teacher manager everybody is a manager in that sense and not exclusively management so you are given the competence you are given the techniques you are given the motivation and morale to apply management to all areas of human endeavor. And if you take up multiple goals, multiple activity, and learn from everybody, the best sloka we start in any teaching is Sahana Vavatu Sahanao Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karabhavakai Tejasvi Navadi Damasu What does that mean? Sahana Vavadu, learn together. Learn from others. Sahana Gunatu, work together. Sahaviriyam, a good manager should strengthen everybody else. If you strengthen your subordinate, he will be more loyal to you. If you strengthen your boss, he will be more helpful to you. Sahaviriyam, Karavavahai, and become a Tejasri. What is meant by Tejasri? Your face should become bright. Tejas, ashes, 
ಸೀತ್ವ ಮಂಗಳತ್ವ ಶೋಭ ಶುಪಿದೆ ರಿಮಾರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಐ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಮೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗರ್ಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಾಯ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಕೇಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅಫ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಅಮಿದ ಬಚ್ಚನ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಶಾರುಖ್ ಖಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಫುಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಯಲನ್ ಅಬರೇಷನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಾರ್ಷನ್ ಪರ್ವರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೇದಾರಂ ಆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಗೋಸ್ಟ್ a with a wrinkled face never smiling all the time stiff as if you are constipated <laughs> so one day one child got up and said mother mother ghost has come so mother told look here youngster go to sleep it's your father going to the bathroom <laughs> why all the time he has been doing complaining nagging all the time grievance nobody cares for your grievance never tell anybody i'm having headache he would say i got headache plus two things they're not interested 75% of the people are not interested in your problem the other 25 are happy that you have problem so <laughs> don't tell others keep it yourself and therefore for that requires control what is the management what coordinating motivating controlling motivate our divinity within us the sacredness within us the spirituality within us the fact that we are born in india within us the pride of being in india awaken arjuna arise awaken bharata that should be your mission and i shall fulfill to make india not only materially great as what your chief minister is saying we also want to make india spiritually great and i am looking forward to a day when this part of india will become the spiritual capital of the world i like amadabad for variety of reasons i come here many many times one reason is of course to say gandhi ji's place there are many other reasons for it one reason is we are all very united here this is a vaishya era of kaliyuga and people in gujarat are good businessmen good entrepreneurs and there are you are vegetarian most of you are vegetarian and there are so many such reasons why come here so on this auspicious beautiful day i am here because of dr gitesh shah i met him in a in a in a air he came and sat near me and said so many things he is an entrepreneur scientist technologist manager and so on and also a spiritual religious person he only brought me here so i am thankful to him and i pay a tribute to him on this occasion for having given me an opportunity to come here and address you and I met Shastri and his uh, son and his colleagues and Dr. Saini and Joshi Purva and many many people here and simply delighted and overjoyed Ananda for having given an opportunity to speak to you unfortunately I am used to speaking 6 hours minimum <laughs> and they came in only 20 minutes there is an illi- country, india is a country of illusions and miracles one illusion is when ramasamy starts speaking he will stop is an illusion <laughs> and when he spots is a miracle one lady came with a 12 bottles like this at the airport so a customs man said madam what is this she said water because indian water is polluted but madam it looks like gin is that true said, yes ah my travel agent told me india is a country of miracles sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve bhavantu sarve sandu niramaya sarve sandu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu sarve akashchi dukha bhavave asutoma satgamaya ತಮ ಸೋಮ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ಬಲ ಯಶೋಧೈರ್ಯ ನಿರ್ಭಯತ್ವ ಅರೋಗತ ಅಜಾಖ್ಯಂ ವಾಪಡುತ್ವ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸ್ಮರಣಾತ್ ಭವೇತ್ ಅರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇಸ್ ನೌ ಪ್ರಪೀತ್ 
the time to be happy is now. Repeat. The time to be happy is now. The place to be happy is here. The place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to make someone else happy. And create a bit of heaven. Heaven. Right here. So your mission in life is to create a heaven in everybody's mind, in every animal's mind, and in every nature's molecules to make a heaven here. And this is heaven. There is no heaven there. One man went to IOC booth and said, connect me to heaven. So that fellow said, you want to go to talk to heaven? Yes, but you have to give me 10,000 rupees. All right, then you connect me to hell only. How much? One rupee. Why? Why so much difference? Heaven is far off, long distance call. Hell is local call. Don't make this hell. Heaven is here only, nowhere else. And it's the duty of managers, young managers particularly, born in this century, to hear what Aravindo has said, what Ramana Maharshi has said, what our million pages have said, what Bhishma has said, what Vidura has said, what Patavini has said, what Vasishtha has said. If you do all that, you will make your life happy. You will also, you all get good married. Let's also be careful when you get married. Go for a good, good girl or a good husband. Don't go for a brilliant boy or a brilliant husband or a brilliant wife. If you go for a brilliant wife, she will find out that you are a Buddha on the first day. <laughs> Therefore, go for a good partner, good neighbor, good teacher, good manager, good subordinate, good everything. With these words, I thank the heavens, all the gods and goddesses we have in this country, and the whole world that India may, Bharat Mata, should not be humbled or humiliated anymore. And we should lead a good, profit life, returning our indebtedness to society, to animal kingdom, to nature, and to our forefathers. Akhanda Mandala Akaram Yaptam Yena Charasaram Tatpadam Darshidam Yena Tasmai Shri Purave Nama Omkaram Bindu Samyuktam Nityam Dhyayandi Yoginaha Kamadam Mokshatam Seva Omkaraya Namo 